And welcome back everyone. We are choosing our power and I decided on getting the armor piercing ammo. Mm -hmm. And also we have a mystery we need solved. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Uh, my mystery is where do the lights that are reflecting in his eyes come from? I think they're the ghosts of his past. <laughs> that All the innocence that he's murdered. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> That would explain why when you when you when you're a renegade, you get the red dead eyes. Yeah. So it's just like uh, yeah, so you dude. can't see that. Oh look, product placement. I mean Jessica Chobot. What? Yeah, she's a she's an actress who was um made famous by being a anchor on IGN. Ah. Yeah, and cool. she's also her character model. I feel like is the ugliest of all the character models. In the yeah, game. she looks like her. She, she looks like her in real life, except in real life she's jowl, much better looking. She's like <laughs> something weird with her like cheeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like, in real life she has kind of chubby cheeks, but in real life it also moves naturally instead yeah, of in the game like, where it's weird. This looks like she got like she has some sort of allergic reaction. Mm -hmm. It looks weird. Um, and she's also a, a pseudo like, look at romantic that. option. <laughs> look at the, it's like right here all along her chin line. It's just puffed out on her chin. No, yeah. Um, but oh. she's also like a pseudo romantic option. Uh, you can you can romance her, but it doesn't go past and the stage of flirting. But she's kind of a romantic option, so it's weird. She's a flirt. That's all it is. Essentially, but apparently it counts in the files of the game as a romantic option. So, and this also continues the trend of the sexualization of the Wait, characters. Wait, why do we keep getting Alliance funding? I got, like, it said 25000 and then 10000 and 4000 and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's, that's it's, all the, it's all the stuff that you got at the end of the mission. It's just... Oh, it's finally notifying. looping through. Yeah, it's okay. just notifying you. See, this, these bioscanners, these are how fast they should be all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised they have the gr little green lights on all of these other doors... To indicate you could go through them. But, but you, you really never, can. Yeah, you never can. Yeah. So we can go to the embassies or the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. I don't want to deal with Udina yet. No. We'll deal with him soon enough. Which, which also, this is another thing that pissed off a lot of people. But apparently, no matter what you do, Udina will always become... Um, oh, so, no, listen to their conversation. Whose? Theirs. Because I like this. There are certain random conversations you'll hear around the Citadel, and there are multiple parts to it. So every time you come back, there's the next part of the conversation. And it actually unlocks um, in the Spectre offices uh, um, new upgrades or different outcomes that affect your, um, your uh, readiness level okay. on the Citadel, which I really like. Um, and you know now the conversation is over and you can leave. So oh. being a creep is rewarding. Hooray! Let's buy some stuff. The flower. I, we'll buy all this stuff because we're going to blow our money on something. Might as well be this. Right. Can I just... Oh, I have to click. <sighs> Stupid. Back. Oh, See, that's back. what I... <laughs> And forward. That's what I like about um, the Xbox controller. It's just B and A. A and B. A and B. A. Or just A and A, rather. Whatever. Oh, well, I only spent 10,000 credits. <sighs> That's chump change. It's not like you're going to get a billion more by the end of it. Yeah, pretty much. You could buy everything. Whoa! <laughs> what what was that? Happened? <laughs> oh, look! It's Chakwas and Chakwas Jr. Well, yeah, and you, and you meet Chakwas Jr. in the first game. What? She's a, she's a member in the medical clinic where you meet Garrus. Yeah. That's her medical clinic. We had a run -in with the is, is that like actual like related character or no 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 just no. the just the clinic? No, the clinic. No, the clinic is Doctor um, Mich yeah, Michelle's or whatever her name is. Chakwas is already on the Normandy, right? Yeah, and you was, said you it used said, to be Chakwas. No, 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 no. When you said oh. Chakwas Junior, the other character, that's the one I was referring to. Okay, I thought you meant Chakwas Junior, as in like Chakwas' actual kid. No, 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 and no. Because that's what I, don't I think said. she has any kids. Well, that's why I said about Chakwas, the other, the one in the green, because they look very similar. No, yeah, but she's actually a separate character. Okay, and she harkens back. To I the first now one. completely understand. Yeah. This. Sorry, got you super confused. <laughs> you did actually. I was like, uh, wait a second. Hold on. Um, yeah, and at this moment, you can actually choose whether or not you want Chakwas or Dr. Michelle on the, on 
the Normandy. I'm li- I, I like Doc, uh, Chakwas because... I don't know anyone who would choose the other one. Uh, who, Everyone chose Chakwas because... It's like, Dr. Michelle, who the hell is that? It's, <laughs> this is a number of things that I felt like they were trying to create, like, emotional attachments to things that... You don't have because you never spent time with them. Well, maybe it's one of those. That's why they gave you the options. Like, well, of course they're going to choose Chakwas. I guess. So, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But you can still talk to do- to Dr. Michelle and... Um, None for you. You don't get, get in. You get, you, get a, you get a couple different little side missions from her, I think. Um, and you can just talk to her. She's just creeping in the background listening to your conversation. And you don't? <laughs> Weren't you just listening to the two people's conversation? Which, by the way, is a really weird place to have a conversation. Like, you're having a huge conversation in the op- middle of no- the open in, like, a, ho- uh, a hotel lobby, <laughs> a hospital lobby, about, like, being transferred as a patient. I think that would violate HIPAA or something. Well, this is also the future in a, in a galaxy far, far away. You get no Not privacy. really far, far away, but... Close enough. Yeah. It's not now. Well, it's a ga- well. It's not in a different galaxy. But. It's a different solar system. Not too bad. No. Yeah. Oh, that's right. This is the one we saved. Exactly. When you meet Garrus, because he's yeah. in there. He's in there trying to help her. How's Ashley doing? I just don't give a shit what you're telling me, even if it's about Ashley, because she's going to be my romantic interest in this game as well, just because you know. Well, pff, we we. we have her once in Mass Effect One. Mm-hmm. So also, I feel like the only romantic intri- the only romantic um, uh, like characters you can have are the ones that are actually in your party. Everyone else is just kind of like, oh yeah, cool, you make out again, and that's it. Yeah, like everyone else is completely unsatisfying. It's just stupid. Yeah, I'm just kind of skipping through um, conversations with people just because it's a, it's going to speed things up a little bit. Unless it's, like, specific to the story. Yeah, which if it's just extra crap, I'm gonna... Yeah, and, like, you hear the conversation that's going on now. Yeah. If you stand by, you'll get a side mission. You know, as long as the subtitles keep showing up, you'll... When, the, when it concludes, you'll get a side mission, I believe. Um, which, eh. It, Do I even have... What, what's my journal say? Yeah. Oh, missions... Oh, those are priority missions... I don't like how the oh, these how, are just codex. Entries. Yeah, I don't. I don't like how the codex and the journal are now the same thing. Yeah, I that's... liked it better as separate things. But. Yeah, that would be very nice. But and the game manual because everyone's... why would that need to be the major thing in the menu other than squad journal should be up there. Right. But I think uh, I think manual should have been in the options. You know, that would work better, right? Like, it would just be all the options and at the bottom would be manual, like it does in the Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, that would be nice, but... Yeah, and then you also, if you listen to this conversation, you get another one of those things I was telling you were in the Spectre offices. You get an extra option. But you have to listen to every part. Oh, so you have, so you have to come painful. back later and do it again. It's Oh, that's really, really painful. No, yeah, but if you're going to be playing through the game 100%, you Which know, we're not... No, but it's one of those things we, that... We should be fine with, you know... Um, oh, we never saved. No, we, we should, should probably, probably do. save. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah uh, we should... We're, we're pro- if we, Okay, we're going to play through this game. If, for whatever reason, we need to get more war chest assets... Yeah. We'll get them somehow, but for now, I think we'll be we'll fine. Be, we'll be fine doing this main story. You can totally do it with the main story. Cool. And, um, once again, with, like, overly boobalicious Ashley. Like, do you... S- what, beaten, beaten uh, life. this is... But do you see the problem? Always <laughs> were. Scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. And now you're not talking to me, you're scaring me more! Check in on you. See how you're doing. Thinking about you. Oh, I have to actually yeah. choose an option. <laughs> yeah, because you can you can either give him the give him the tough love speech or you can be the compassionate speech. I'm gonna be the teddy bear. Get some do you see that problem? Yeah, that. Yeah. It bothers me. You need anything, Doc? Let me know. You know. And it also bothers me on the male side because everyone is like super ripped for some reason. <laughs> They're soldiers. Okay, but not the doctors. Or the random people you meet. Not everyone's a soldier. 
Hey, yeah, you can have some overweight people in the future. Tubalicious. Just saying. We got two reputation. Now, unlike just regular straight Paragon or Renegade, reputation is just... It's general. Yeah, it's just a general elevation of whatever you have. Yeah, because cause what is it? I think um, I think it was actually from a complaint people had of two, where, um, where you would be in the later part of the game and not have amassed enough Renegade points. So you were stuck only doing the Paragon option, even if you wanted to do the Renegade choice. Yeah. So reputation raises them both, so you have that difference. Oh, and this unlocks a side mission. Yeah, you can just listen to everybody and they will do stuff. Yeah. However, if you wait too long their missions won't be available anymore. Well, if you land on the planet. If it's a fetch quest, it'll be available indefinitely. Okay, but we do, if we go to the journal, mm -hmm. that's one of the things Yeah, that, that's it, the it, one you, you just listen to. Yeah, so you don't have to actually listen to all of them entirely. No. Some of them, it's just the one conversation. Some of them are multiple parts, like this one that's going on right now is another multiple part one. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, like, after you speak to Udina, you can, um, that there's something you can do about it. There is no oh, we, uh... Here, oh, it's this one! Yeah. This woman. Also, there's different outcomes if you punched her in the other two games. I know. Um, if you didn't I should have. Yeah, if you didn't punch her, there's a different outcome. If you punch her, there's another outcome. Well, I'm glad there are different outcomes for different actions. Yeah. No, but like... <sighs> It's much better than you'd think. Yeah. Like, it's more thought out than just one. Hey, it's thanks either, for not punching me. Yeah, it's not just option A, option B. It's option, if you did option A in this game and then option A in this game, then you can choose option A or B, which gives you different different options. Yeah. If you did option A in the first game, option B in the second game, then you get option C and D. And yeah. then you can do that stuff. Or if you chose option B, option B, then you get... Option um, Q. Exactly. Whatever. Like, it's different things depending on what you did. I mean, they're all similar, but there's just little differences. Like you said, it's a, it's the devils in the details, so... Yeah. But, you know, now we're just talking to Commander Bailey because pff, I think we have to. You don't have to. You can totally skip his thing. Oh. You know, I mean, you just never get to... You just never get to talk to him, then. Well... I think we can skip him, unless we get missions from him. I don't think you get missions from him. I don't think you ever speak to Bailey again until midway through the game, where you have to actually speak to him because you run into him. Yeah, now I'm just kind of skipping through because I don't want to listen to him talk. Uh, so let's go talk to... Udina! Udina, because we have to. Yeah, and no matter what you do, he I like how we were already through the door before it opened. Yeah. Oh, it's the council. I forgot about this. Well, you go and speak to the council, and then he comes back. Oh, that's right. He is a counselor. Yeah. Because no matter what you do, he yeah. becomes the, the council member. Yeah. Like, even if you had Anderson in the first one. Because there's an event that happens in one of the books that is canon that changes the outcome, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So why give me why give me the choice if you're gonna change it on me? Exactly. And then not explain it in but the But there's also a story reason for it. And this is a lot of the complaints I heard from people saying that uh, that Bioware was stuck was stuck in a corner because they had this um this story that the characters the players had a part of, you know, shaping. But they also were in conflict with the story they were trying to tell. So you know, because it's really hard to build a story because it really starts off as like a pyramid in reverse. You start out at the same point, but it expands and expands and expands with every choice. Right. So you eventually, at some point, you kind of have to start squeezing it back in. Yeah. You know, and then it's weird. And like, it, and it's it was a lot of complaints. It's like it's basically you know you have the same outcomes, but the means are different. Exactly. You know, I'm. It's just it's just one of those things. Like I was having this conversation with my buddy Nick because he was really upset that the story wasn't all that different from everyone else's. But I'm like, the other two games weren't really either. Yeah. Like if you really think about it, everyone starts at the same point and ends it expands. At the same point. Yeah, it expands out. But the first two games kind of like if you think of it as a diamond as you shape the story, mm -hmm. the part where it's the furthest out is about midway through the story. And then once you start getting to the ending, it starts collapsing in on itself again, but not quite creating a point. 
Whereas three does because it's the conclusion. Mm -hmm. So that's what a lot of people had. At least I feel like they had a real problem with the ending because they didn't think about it like that. Whereas the first two games didn't do that. Kind of left it open, but they have to conclude the story somehow. Right, yeah, I'm just talking and just kind of just waiting and making awkward pauses. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of like, uh, line! Line! Someone give me I, I my line! That. I saw that was a very interesting way to stop an awkward pause. If there's an awkward pause, depending on who has the awkward pause, the cruel and unfortunate truth say one of two things. If it's your turn to talk, you can just be like, line! <laughs> and then if they stop talking and their turn to talk, did you forget your lines? I'm sorry, Commander. Here's the script. I like that, uh, that scene in um, Robot and Men in Tights. Where they we all check the script underneath their chairs. Yeah, they're like this. He, he's like he's like hold on. He's like I get another shot. And he's just like and they're like, does he get another shot? And he's like, where's the script? And everyone looks at it and they're like, they're like yes, yes, he gets another shot. <laughs> when 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 things like that break the fourth wall, those are always satisfying. Oh, and I found out why it's called breaking the fourth wall too. It's a, it goes back to a theater where um, where if you build a stage set, there are yeah. three walls. The fourth wall is an imaginary one between the actor and the audience. That's what I was thinking. That's what yeah. I thought it would be. I, I mean, I, I thought of it in terms curtain. of TV because if you think of the TV as literally a box, yeah, it's that's going another out thing. through the glass and into mm-hmm. the real world kind of thing. Yeah, but it's older than that. So yeah, I mean, which is which is still cool. Like it's a, the basic understanding is still there. Yeah. So that's what breaking the fourth wall means. So now you all know. The more you know. I feel like you have to add that in there. I will. I'll have the star going across the screen. Yeah. But not but not like break the video, just just right have it the top. Yes, just overlay it. Oh it will. Well, that's great. Um but yeah. Also, here's another part that never changes, even if you were a dick to the council. Like if you killed the council, had an entire human council or whatever you did, you always become a specter again. No matter what. I murdered everyone. Here's your rank back. Exactly. Like you can murder everyone. Um, tell them to basically like flip them off in the second game and line yourself as much as you can with Cerberus. But hold on. The universe is collapsing in on itself, so we're going to we make you a specter. Need, we, we need you. Exactly. Thank you. We've chosen to uphold your specter status. Yeah. Good. So no matter what you do, you will always be a specter. Good day. Wonderful. Which I think is the dumbest thing. Yes, yes, it is very dumb. Like, it, just it breaks the it breaks the the story of the game. Like it's these little things that just piss me off. Like our actual legitimate cla- like complaints about the story. Yeah. Don't bother talking to me. Oh, Why? Why? You don't need to speak to me for the rest of the game. I didn't think. I didn't know. Yeah, Fine, I'll skip them. your. Yeah, just say goodbye. Just, just oh wow, goodbye. just goodbye. I should go. Because he has. If I had a dollar, long, every time he said I should go, I would be the richest dude in the world. Yeah, yeah. I'm Commander Shepard. Uh, but if you go across the hall into the um, Spectre requisition room, yeah, this is where I was telling you that those conversations. If you well, listen to every part, if you go oh, to the left, right, there's the right, terminals yeah. there. That yeah. give you the little missions, to, or not little missions, but little journal entries to Spectre do. Spectre terminal, Spectre requisition. That's where you buy the... This is where I want. This is this is the stuff I want. Yeah, but you can't get them unless you import an ME3 character, because you won't have enough money. There's no... And unless you don't buy anything, that's the only way you'll be able to buy those weapons. I bought these before. Did you buy stuff? Yeah. Lots of stuff? Yeah. Well, I I'm bought fine. I bought them all. No, I think I just bought the Black Widow. Well, the Black Widow's the best um, sniper rifle in the game. So. Yeah, I think that's what I bought. I don't know. To my knowledge, you can't do it otherwise. Uh, welcome, welcome to the world welcome. of tomorrow. Yeah, how did you how did you guys know that was gonna happen? Uh, okay, so yeah. and if you go left over here, you'll get another side mission, I believe. Oh, never mind. I thought that was That's later on, I think. I think it's yeah, I think it's uh, after That's one of the things I don't like about this game is where is like the people keep changing. Also what I don't like is how bold legged Commander Shepard runs. Yeah. He's, he's got like, like a stick up his ass. 
Gotta poop. Gotta poop. Gotta poop. <laughs> oh, you want to do any therapy? <laughs> he should be doing the potty dance. Like, come on, can we hurry this up? Let's go. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, oh, geez. don't talk to me. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, oh I could punch her, but I'm not. No. Um, if you don't, if you um. I think if you don't punch her, she actually becomes an asset. She does. Yeah. Um, it's only a plus Wait, five so are you, asset. Are you telling me that you punch her? Who, me? Yes. No, I don't. We're doing everything we can. It's kind of awkward the way he put his hand on her shoulder, like... Because yeah. <laughs> he also, like, abruptly does it. Just like, just like hey, <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh... Oh, but... Okay, but what about Palavin and uh, Sirkesh and... Um, Everywhere else that's being destroyed. Yeah, and um, what's the Asari homeworld again? I forget what it's called now. You go there, too. The Asari homeworld? Yeah, you go there. Uh, Ilium. No, Ilium's not it. That's their, oh, uh, that's one of their border... Um, that's their colonies. Yeah, one of their border colonies. Um, You actually go there in this game. Oh, hey, it's James. Yes. Oh, hey, the episode needs to end. Uh, I don't care about talk. Oh god, they're talking about. It's hard to believe. I can hardly believe it. Yeah. So, hell yeah, but you were right. He's got like permanent duck face going on. Yeah. Like I don't. I've never liked. Oh whoa, he's gone. I've never liked the way his characters looked, but I like his. I like him once you get to know him, because he feels like a very much like a younger Commander Shepard. Yeah. Like once you get to know him, he's really cool. But but I we have to end the episode now. Mm -hmm. We thank you all for watching. Um, actually, wait. Hold on a sec. We're only at 20 minutes. We can go a little bit further. Oh, my God. <laughs> you were so adamant about it. I was really it. adamant. I, my math got screwed up. Uh, so, whatever. What will bring us to the end of the episode is the entire tutorial into the new Normandy, because that takes like a half hour to do. Oh, seriously? No, it takes like five minutes. I was about to say, if it really does take that long, and I don't... It's been a while since I've done it, so I don't remember. Yeah, uh. it takes like five minutes because like you speak to the new, uh, whatever her name is, the one that Kelly. Oh was. no! Oh, the dream sequences. I forgot about. Oh, this. I forgot about this. This this doesn't take too long. No, but it's annoying. I mean, I like the dream sequences. It's still annoying. It's just it felt really out of place because like suddenly he's now having stress about saving the universe. Yeah, it took you long enough. Like, that's what I, I really don't like, how they really try to push this whole emotional thing onto you about certain, like, using certain motifs, like the kid, and um, using, uh, this is also the dream sequences are another big thing in the indoctrination theory, um, because they talk about oily shadows, and um, with, uh, in two, I believe. Or maybe it was one. Whatever. One of the people who was being indoctrinated talks about oily shadows. Okay. And some of the people that appear in these dream sequences look like oily shadows. Huh. And also that sounds like um, a reaper horn. Yeah. So, I mean, whatever's going on. Or it could just... Or the kid, it could kid just, just despawn. <laughs> sure. Or, you know, the, the reaper horn sounded because the kid got blown up by a reaper. Yeah, it could also just be the anxiety be... Reaper, the, I'm not Reaper, that Shepard is feeling. Yeah, the anxiety the Reaper is feeling is making him feel unsuitable in his new environment. Yeah. Take my hand. You know, I mean, whatever's going on in these dream sequences, I they don't, they're also, what I don't like, they're not very clear as to the purpose of these dream sequences. They well, just kind of happen, you know? They, well, the purpose for them is clear. To me, at least. Yeah. But when they happen isn't so clear. I don't know. Like, why they happen to make sense, because he's, like, feeling regret of the kid dying. Because he tried to save him out of the vent, and he couldn't. Well, I mean, because, no, no, no. It's because he's the only kid in the entire universe of Mass Effect. True. Seriously. Very true. No, Everyone else is 18 or above. <laughs> right? <laughs> there are no kids. He's the only kid. Like, apparently, the human race has lost the reproductive ability... Except, except for that last have, parents that, that had that Have you kid. seen Aeon Flux? Oh, right? Yes. Yeah, I know. That's where yeah. I'm, That's what I'm thinking. I just saw it recently. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm like, that sounds an awful lot like Aeon Flux. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, People around me have a tendency to get hurt. 
or worse? Who else, who around you has gotten worse than getting hurt? Tell me, Commander Shepard. Hmm? No one has died near you yet. <coughs> Caden. <coughs> Caden doesn't count because he was a pansy and I hated him. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I beg your pardon. I'm. So, I thought you were alone. I, th I noticed your pants weren't on. But also, also, just letting you guys know, she is the best romantic option if you're a female. Don't bother with Liara. Go with. Uh, go with Trainer. She's awesome. And it's a much. It's also a much better scene than I, I with. Like how um, you're trying to like spin this into making it seem like you're not a pervert. <laughs> no, because like it's stupid with the other ones. Like, like what is it? Um. Because we, because if you get um, what was it? I'm trying to remember them all now. Um, because with Ashley, you kind of like, it's like a really quick sort of like, oh yeah, we're gonna tumble around in this bed, but fade out really quick. So it's like a stupid scene. Um, trainer, trainer, full on shower. It's a better scene. I'm sorry. As, a, as a, okay, as a videographer, it's a better scene. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it for the art. <laughs> no, seriously, as a videographer, it's a better scene. It's more interesting. It really is. It's like it's like when you get the um, when uh, if you can romance Tali in the second one. Uh huh. All it is is that she's like babbling on, and then you remove her helmet, and then she likes making. She starts making out with you, and that's it. I was taking so many vitamin supplements that my immune system will be boosted. Like like the two best romantic options for male and female. Garrus. Garrus. Garrus with his scaly skin. <laughs> I love, I, I love how Morden tells you that it's like that, that he it's tells like, you to be careful because they have dry skin. I'm just like, oh, oh, oh god, no. <laughs> that's awful. Oh man, that's just awful, awful, awful. Also, you never see female Turians <laughs> that you know of. Yeah, that's true. That oh, and Trainer has a thing for Edie. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, she is a lesbian. Your voice so. was so attractive. To be fair, that's Trisha Helfer, so... Well, I know, but her voice, you know, her jokes are needing, need work. Yeah, a little bit. I like the sight of humans on their knees. To be honest, that's a great joke. <laughs> that is a joke. Uh, I think it, it wouldn't have worked as well if Joker's face wasn't like... Yeah, Joker's face sold that moment. Yeah. Sold. It just completely. Sold Seth Green as Joker was one of the best decisions Bioware could have ever done. Yes, it it really was. Um, yeah, another really good decision was also um, the Captain Morgan. Yes, <laughs> just yes. Um, another one was um, Jennifer Hale being. Why is this cutscene still going on? I don't know. We got two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, it was Jennifer Hale being the female Shepherd? She's a much better voice actor. Them Shep. Yeah, she's a much better voice actor than um than the other dude. I mean, I think it's like his name is like Mark Muir or something like that. Male Shep. Yeah, male Shep. His he's awful. Uh, Jennifer Hale is a much better um, voice actress. Yeah, much much better. And I like I I played through the game as Fem Shep, and I was like, this is much more enjoyable. Like suddenly, like there's inflection in in her voice and. You know, the dialogue actually has, like, punch to it, and it kind of sounds more you, natural. You know, you know who Male Shep reminds me of in terms of voice acting ability? Who? James Sunderland from Silent Hill 2. Yep. That's about right. What? I couldn't have done that. I was alone! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit, except it's more like you're always sounding like you're the hero of some story. That's the only difference. You're basically like Beowulf. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I was swimming against so-and-so and I killed nine sea monsters with my eyelids. And Earth? <laughs> oh, and Earth. I'm sorry, I'm phasing out from what listening to the conversation. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are, because we're not really paying attention to the story anymore. No. We're just kind of, we're talking vaguely about what's going on, but... Well, because 90% of what is good to talk about doesn't happen in the first third of the game. Yeah, I know. It's when you actually start getting into it. We can save now! Yes! Save the game! We can save! Awesome. Okay, so, in the next episode, we're going to go do more stuff. I don't know what, but we're going to do it. And blow shit up. Yes, we're going to probably take a tour of the Normandy and not blow it up, because we need that to go to the grocery store. 
We need it, it has good trunk space, okay? <laughs> so, You're right. <laughs> so we will see you guys next time with episode what is this? One, two, three, four, five, four, four, five. Episode five is next time. We'll figure it out. We'll you figure it read. out. <laughs> read, read the title. Anyway, see ya. Bye.